So it's kind of a hard concept, right? Like what if we just loved ourselves today? What if we decided to break every rule that society tells us and we just choose to love ourselves today? How we are, imperfect, messy, broken, searching for healing. What if we just woke up every morning and said, I love you, Wendy. Thank you for all you do for me. You are amazing and strong and brave. I love you. What would that do to your life? Even if you don't believe those things right now, what if you woke up every day and out loud said something like that to the reflection in the mirror? We have become a world that is so focused on living a certain way, looking a certain way. We think of success as a certain way. We forget that we are perfect as we are. Why do I say that? Because scripture tells us so. I could give you a thousand scriptures on what the Bible says about love. But the only one that you need to remember and recite to yourself every day is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's it. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Repeat it to yourself out loud. Do out loud positive affirmations. I am a child of the most high God. I am the head and not the tail. I will accomplish my dreams. I am happy, healthy, confident, flexible. Whatever the thing is that you desire to be, preach it out loud. Say it out loud every day. Because if we continue to say, well, I'll love myself when I get a new job. I'll love myself when I find a man. I'll love myself when I lose 100 pounds or five pounds. I'll love myself when I stop eating sugar. I'll love myself when I get the job of my dreams. I'll love myself when I pay off my debt. I'll love myself when fill in your blank. If we go in to life every day, and most of us have for significant periods of time, if we continue on this path, we are never, ever going to live in the purpose that we are called to live in. And that is heartbreaking because we all have a purpose in life. I'm not saying it has to be some grand on a stage, published book, bestseller, whatever. I'm saying that each of us was put on this earth to fulfill some kind of purpose. And if we don't love ourselves, we're never gonna live in that purpose. And do you know what happens when you start to repeat those things out loud to yourself on a daily basis? You actually start to believe them. When you say, I'm fat, I don't drink water, I can't sleep, I'll never lose weight. I hate exercise. Sugar makes me happy. You set yourself up to live that life. Flip this script. This is a hard habit to break, but you can break it. You can practice these things every single day just by waking up and before your feet even hit the floor. I love you, Lindy. Thank you for all you do for me. I am amazing. I am strong. I am brave. It's going to be a great day. In 2009, I went to a conference. And this man said, every morning before you even put your feet on the floor, you stretch and you say, it's going to be a great day. You wake up and you make your bed. And I can't remember the statistic, but it was over 50% of people just, just, adding that one teeny tiny habit to their life, their productivity, their mental, um, like their thought process, it increased by like 110% or something crazy. It's going to be a great day. Stretch, say it out loud before your heat, feet hit the floor and get up and make that bed. Start doing some positive out loud affirmations. We live in this world of comparison. We see everyone on social media sharing the highlight reel of their life. 
we see people on social media, you know, losing weight, getting new jobs, making more money, buying cars. We see all of these things and we think, why can't I have that? Why can't I have that? Why can't I have that? Who cares? We need to be supporting each other and lifting each other up. And we can't do that when we're trying to pour from an empty cup. And our cup can't truly be filled until we learn to love ourselves in the mess that we're in today. As a fitness coach, every week I reach out to my girls. Most of them are moms. A lot of them stay at home. A lot of them go to work every day. And every single one of them struggles with feeling some kind of insecurity that they're not doing enough of something for their kids or their spouse or whatever. Like every single one of them, myself included, we all have some area in our life where we feel inadequate, where we feel guilt or shame because we don't feel like we're doing all of the things that we need to be doing and we need to knock it off. We need to stop saying yes to things that do not fill our cup. We need to start saying no um, to ideas that we build in our head that we have to look or live a certain way. We have to, whether you have whether you have weight to lose or you are dealing with some kind of addiction or you are in a crappy job situation or you are in a depression cycle or anxiety cycle that is so deep that you don't know how to get out of it, in those times, in the hardest times of your life during your day, when your thoughts start to go negative, you need to say out loud, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Repeat that every time something comes negative in your mind and you're about to say it out loud, or maybe you do say it out loud, you can change the conversation two seconds later. But choose to change that conversation two seconds later. We don't have to live in our mess. Dave Ramsey says, success isn't a gleaming, shiny mountain. Hear me. It's a pile of mistakes that you're standing on instead of under. Success isn't a gleaming, shiny mountain. It's a pile of mistakes that you're standing on instead of under. Stop focusing on all the things that you're not that you feel you should be and start focusing on all the things that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I know the struggle of infertility. I know the struggle of gaining 100 pounds. I know the struggle of anxiety and depression. I know the struggle of emotionally and physically, not physically, emotionally and verbally abusive relationships. I know that struggle. I still deal with shame in certain areas of my life. And in those times, I have to say, God, take this thought from me and remind me who you say I am. And whether you have faith in Jesus or not, you've got to find a way to change your conversation. You've got to find a way to say out loud, I am strong. I am brave. I will accomplish my dreams. This conversation, this idea of us having to dress a certain way or spend money we don't have or all of these things that the world tells us that we need, we don't need those. A lot of people are out there spending money that they don't have on things that they don't need. That's fine for them. We love them, we bless them, and then we release it from our lives because when we hold that comparison, it steals our joy. And we don't want that, do we? We want to be joyful, but being joyful is a is something that we can choose. We can choose it every day. You should want to live your happiest, healthiest life. You should want to break the cycle of addiction, whether it's to sugar or food or exercise or crappy relationships or debt or gambling or whatever it is. Yes, we should have goals that we want to strive towards. But if you don't love yourself today in all of the areas where you fall short, any of those goals that you check off the list, they will never, ever, ever be enough. And you're already enough. You're already enough as you are today. That's it. Your house doesn't have to be clean. If you're a mom and you're chasing toddlers and you're just exhausted and you want to sit down and there are piles of laundry and dishes in the sink, who cares? The world will go on. Your kids are loved. They're fed. They're happy. They love you. 
Stop trying to fit into this mold of who you think you should be, of who you think the world needs you to be. Because the only, the only thing that you need to remember is that you were fearful, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You were created beautifully and perfect in the image of Christ. Every time a negative thought comes into your mind about your body, about your choices, about your past, don't let it come out of your mouth. Take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. In that moment where you feel that negative thought, you can just say, Lord, take that from me. You don't even have to say anything. He knows what you want him to do. Sometimes I just look up. Sometimes I just close my eyes for a second. On my wedding day, I was walking down the aisle. I got to the front and all those people were out there. And I had to close my eyes for a minute and ask God to take away the fear and the anxiety that I was feeling in that moment. People might think you look weird. Who cares? You're not living for anyone else. Fill your cup. And your filling of your cup starts with loving yourself today. If you want to implement a new exercise program and you haven't exercised or maybe you feel unhealthy or it's cold outside and your joints hurt, but you get up and you do one thing for two minutes that you didn't do yesterday, stop thinking I should be doing more. Celebrate that win. If you pass on a cookie for the first time ever, celebrate that win. Stop thinking that you have to be something at all. Love yourself today because no matter what comes in life, if you can love yourself today, you can love yourself through the struggles. You can love yourself through the wins. And then when you reach that goal, yes, it's amazing you're going to celebrate it. But it doesn't define who you are. Your weight does not define who you are. Your income, your family, your relationships, that does not define who you are. That is a relationship truly based on how you love and serve other people. That's what you're going to be called upon at the end of your life. Yes, our past, our sins, we're all going to have to account for those. But one of those sins is going to be, why did you continuously beat yourself up when I love you just as you are? Change the conversation. Flip the script. When negativity starts to come your way or if someone you're talking to is just negative and negative and negative, you know what? It's okay to, it's okay to say to them, you know what? I've, I've been in that negative thought pattern. I'm really trying to change the way that I talk to myself today. And maybe that will affect someone else. That one teeny tiny comment can change your life and someone else's life. Be the change you wish to see in the world. What do you think our kids are hearing when we talk about we're fat, we're this, we're that? It creates a negative image in their mind. And who cares? Like, can we just love ourselves today? Can we just love ourselves today? If you fall off the wagon, you can change your mindset in the next choice. Don't wait for tomorrow. Change your mindset in the next choice. If something negative comes out of your mouth, you repeat something three times that is positive about you. Stop focusing on all the things that you aren't. Set some goals, sure, but don't let those define you. Choose joy. Choose to love yourself in the moment that you're in now. We've got to change this conversation. It is not doing any favors for ourselves, for our kids, for the people in our lives that we want to positively influence. It's not doing any good for our relationships if you're married or have a spouse or or significant other like it's not doing us any favors love yourself as you are today you are fearfully and wonderfully made did you say it out loud say it out loud right now i am fearfully and wonderfully made Success isn't a gleaming, shining mountain. It's a pile of mistakes that you're standing on instead of under. John C. Maxwell calls it failing forward. You pick yourself up, you 
dust yourself off, you learn the lesson, and you move on to a better tomorrow.